the key to writing a story in, in a play, well, number one is, well, I guess I need to back up a little bit. We're used to narrative form quite a bit. A lot of people are, read a lot of books, and so we're used to that form. And when you're writing a book, what's important is what you write. It's the words you put. It's the descriptions that you lay down for people to see in their minds. So their, their own imagination can take those words and, and, and place the story and the characters where they need to. The difference in a theatrical piece is it's what you don't say that's important. Because what you're creating is an action, characters moving through space, actual live beings being on stage. And so for me, what I'm trying to do is help these young writers recognize that their job is to bring to life characters in front of an audience. And as we bring to life those characters, then we have to understand them, we have to understand their motivations, and then we've got to start to take a look at, at the story that they individually have to tell. What is it about their life that's unique? So in a play, we take maybe 10 years of somebody's life and we condense it down into an hour, hour and a half, two hours. And what is it we put on stage? We don't put the insignificant moments. We put the significant moments on there. And so we have to boil those things down, determine what they are, and then begin to examine those in a way that helps people to see what's the same or different in their own lives. That causes the connection with an audience. That makes the play universal. That makes it have appeal. That's one of the things that worked with, with the second birth, I believe. Here we're looking at a culture that we've been taught to hate. You know, we've been taught to hate people that don't, that, that are these, that are these radical Islamists, okay? Well, not everyone that is a Islamist is radical, right? But we still have this idea in our mind. And so she's writing about people that live in Afghanistan that, that believe totally different than we do. And yet as you watch those characters and work with those characters, the ideas that come into your mind are, hold it, that person wants the same thing I want. They're going through their life trying to be just as happy as I am. They love their children just like I love mine. They love their wife just like they love mine. Those kinds of ideas come into play. And they might make decisions and choices we don't understand, but when we can start to look at the motivation behind it, not just the action, then we create that universal appeal. That's what I try to do.